We've all been there. You take the wrong exit off the freeway, go out a different door than the one you came in. And before you know it, you're asking, where am I? Well, one place you definitely don't want to be caught asking that question is in the endless labyrinth of tunnels deep beneath the city of Paris. Paris, France, a city of stunning beauty and light. was found deep in the catacombs. It was picked up by a catacomb explorer, some of the people who wandered down there. It was given to me, I looked at the tape. It's very bizarre. It's a point of view shot. Point of view shot is somebody just walking forward with the camera. So basically he's filming what he's seeing. Endless, very deep inside the catacombs other than the point of view shots, are pictures of bones. Human bones. These were the poor Parisians who died over the last thousand years. In 1785, millions of bodies were exhumed from Paris cemeteries and dumped into the catacombs. This person occasionally stops and he photographs bones. Occasionally, also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. What happened to him? Nobody knows. Filmmaker Francis Friedland was determined to solve the mystery of the lost catacombs explorer. Normally, I'm a freelance uh, filmmaker. I shoot anything from, from fashion to documentaries. I mean, there are 400 miles of tunnels like this. So I brought the tape to a cataphile, an urban explorer. Cataphiles are strange people. They're people who have this passion for the catacombs. These people go down there to find new passages, new entries, new bones, new, new skeletons. Lazar is probably the person in Paris who knows the catacombs better than, than anyone. So according to Lazar, the person is not someone who knew his way around. My intention right now is to go down with uh, a still photographer, Vincent, a friend. I'm also going to take uh, an excellent sound man, Francis, to spend some time in the catacombs and try to solve the mystery. Francis and I are going to now meet the director of the Catacombs Museum, who has nothing to do with the cataphiles, doesn't even want to know about the cataphiles, but he may have some information, and hopefully he can let us look at some maps of the catacombs. In Paris, you have as many miles of tunnels underground as there are streets above ground. No one knows just how many passageways exist in the catacombs, but we believe that they go down over 300 feet some are filled with water, and many tunnels have collapsed over the years. It's an enormous maze. We think there are as many as seven levels to it, spreading under the entire city. How do you get into the catacombs? Illegally, of course, uh, and the idea is to find uh, an entrance. The problem is that the authorities keep shutting them down. Apparently, Lazar has found a new way to get in. But it's way out uh, from the center of town. It's actually on the edge of the city, through the railroad tracks uh, for about a mile. And then there's a little hole in the ground. 
and we had to crawl through it. And uh, he could still be down there. Maybe he found his way out. Nobody knows. Right now, why do the catacombs? She is some scary ass shit. Have you ever seen the movie? Um, these kids get lost because they go on a private tour. It doesn't end up right. They end up going in circles and they keep on running into themselves and then seeing future versions of themselves. And then they run into some full name of Moman. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't run into that dude. A friend named Latop. In English, Latop is uh, the mole. He lived down here for years. He knew every corridor of every system except this one. He knew there was something horrible down there. This is scary. This is so scary. We were really been walking so much. It's going deeper underground. We're scared. We don't even know if we're gonna get back. But Mom, Dad, I love you so much. I got, I got you guys. Uh, the creepy. I got you guys some gifts. We're probably not gonna get any of them now. Could have sworn it feels like we're going in a circle. Feels like. But eventually he had to see what it was. He went inside and nobody has seen him since. So if you want to take this way, go ahead, not with me. Probably help me out. Coming up next, trapped in the catacombs. I mean, imagine just running out of batteries on your flashlight. You're dead. You're dead. And you just look at this. You just you lose your flashlight. If you search through these catacombs, you could find the gate to hell. Perhaps this person found it by accident. This is the gate to hell. Solve the mystery. I don't think anyone ever will. There's too many, too many, too many miles of, of like, uh, tunnels in there. But we'll never understand what frightened whoever it was that dropped the stake. Dad, 
please do something. I think I see help over there.